Hello and welcome to Learn English with Football, the World Cup special. It's a show in which I talk to my friends and football fans about the World Cup 2022 in Qatar. Stay tuned until the end because later I'll be clarifying some interesting vocabulary from this very interview. And my guest today is our regular from the Premier League show, Leontes. Hi, Leontes. Yes. Welcome, welcome back. Hi, Zanev. Thanks for having me on this special. Yeah, it's um, you were you were one of the one of the first names on the team sheet. And, Great. Uh, let's talk about the World Cup because it's uh, it's uh, it's here. It's here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Time flies, but it came really quickly, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we also had the the European one was postponed because of COVID, and then it was twenty tw that was in twenty twenty one, and now you know it's twenty twenty two. So it was last year when we had the European Cup, which yep. seems ages ago. Exactly, but it was it was really last year, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. So Leontes, I've got a few questions for you. First of all, who do you think are the favorites to win the World Cup? Ooh, um, I had to do this this thing with some friends as well, where I had to fill in my predictions. And I think I said Brazil. Of course, yeah. I hope that we win, the Dutch team wins, yeah. um, with Louis van Gaal, his definitely final job as a trainer. So I hope that he'll manage and that we'll, we'll win. But also, you know, a place in me in my heart has... Uh, it's coming home, playing in the background. So I also hope that England wins. So, I, so I'm my favorites are England, the Netherlands, and um, Brazil. Do you really think England are the favorites? That that's interesting because I, I I would say most people wouldn't say England, but okay. Well, I th yeah, I think they will. I, I think they have a good shot. They did excellent, right? Um, during what was it the previous World Cup or was it the European yeah, one? Yeah, they got to the semi-final. I yeah. believe they were, were they beaten by Croatia, I believe, or was it yeah. Belgium? Either Croatia or Belgium knocked them out in the semi-final. And they were in the finals yeah. of the European Cup, so... They were, yeah. Yeah. So who knows? Who knows? Okay. So, Leontes, who do you think will flop? Well, I think um, France might be the one to disappoint. Uh, of course, we have the classics, the Germany, the, um, you know, those countries that, that are... Probably going to. I think Germany is also going to disappoint, but I think France in particular is going to be one that's going to um, flop because they miss, of course, many great names. They don't have yeah. Pogba. I don't know what Varane is doing. Um, you know, lots of egos as well. So I think that might be the one to flop this um, this time around. Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's a fair assessment. But a lot of people think that they will do they will do great. So we will see. We will see about yeah, France. See. They are the holders. Yeah, yeah. they are yeah. the holders. Yeah. So it's always difficult to to win it twice in a row. I think only yeah. Brazil managed that, I believe. So we will see. We'll see. And what what about the dark horses of the tournament, uh, Leontes? I think we're going to see Denmark as one of those dark horses again, like we saw them. Uh, Perform excellently on the oh, European Cup last year. Yeah, they got into uh, the I, semi-final, beating the Czech yeah. Republic in the quarter-final. Actually, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need to <laughs> mention that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think Denmark is going to be interesting. I think Belgium is going to be interesting as well, um, because Belgium is rather high on the FIFA yeah. ranking. I think they're second or third. They're above the Netherlands. So. I think Belgium is going to be interesting. And for yep. some reason, I think the US is going to do well as well. I really? just think, yeah, I think, I don't know why, but for some reason, I think, you know, the US, Mexico, Mexico mm. did excellent as well a few years ago. They played very well. And maybe Mexico or the US are going to surprise us as well this time around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I agree with your picks. Uh, in particular, I agree with the with the Denmark team. I think... They have a very well balanced team. Yeah. They have Christian Eriksson, and I think I think they are they are a menace. They are danger for any yeah. team. Yeah. And uh, personally, I would add to the list of dark horses. I would add uh, the, the team from the Balkans. I would add okay. Ser Serbia and Croatia because they are always capable of anything. To be honest yeah. with you. So, yeah. Yeah. We're knows? not naming we're not naming any Asian or African countries. 
but there could, there could always be one or possibly even two teams that get to the knockout stages. Who knows? It could happen. Yeah. Yeah. This this World Cup is 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 strange or, or different for for many reasons, right? So yeah. Yeah. Leontes, I have a special question for you. How do you think Qatar will do? The host. Well, to be honest, I don't think they will do well unless the thing happens that people are speculating that might happen. Have you read about Qatar paying the Ecuadorian players to underperform? Unless I'm not happy about maybe, it. I maybe, bet on this game. I bet on this game. Uh, I I have money on Ecuador, so I'm I don't want to hear this. No, no. Wow. Okay. Well, um, you know, I don't think it will happen. I don't think this is something that's true. But you know, but I don't think Qatar is going to play very well. Um, we haven't seen them on the world stage. What? Where are they on the FIFA ranking? Actually, can we check that? Uh, not very high. Not so, very high. I don't think they will do. I don't know. They won't do well. Well, they will have the the advantage of home fans, right? Yeah. And yeah. home home yeah. conditions. You know, not I, how many how many players are used to playing in such uh, different many. let's let's call not it many. different uh, climate. Yeah. Not that many, right? So no. you never know. No. But well, I don't think they are winning. I don't think they are winning the World Cup, though. No, no. Well, talking about the fans. I woke up this morning and I saw a video on Facebook where they said kind of that the fans are arriving. So there was first the Portugal fans and then you had the uh, fans from, I don't know, a few other um, Latin American countries, a few countries from that region. And then you had England. So I was expecting, you know, the classic English men who watch football with large yeah. beer bellies. But there were lots of people from Pakistan and, and, yeah. and Qatar themselves. I thought, wait, huh? This is not very... <laughs> These are not uh, English people. So, apparently, you know, they have paid home fans. I think. Apparently, they have paid um, fake fans. Yeah, they have paid them to to sing the, the to support uh, these teams, so that they want. I think they want full stadiums. Yeah. So, I don't know if this is true, but I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. But it seems like they did it. It 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 was very weird. I mean, of course, people. I'm not saying that all the fans from England are have to be from England, of course, but. There was not one person from England in that in that crowd, so that was weird. We will see, but I, we also have to understand that this is an expensive country. So I don't yep. think okay, England would might be one of the places that they could actually afford to go there. But can you imagine, like, if there will be any fans for poor countries from Africa or South America, or mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I honestly, I think. Yeah, if, are these stadiums going to be half empty, or are they going to hire some? Are, are the locals going to watch these matches? Probably. I, don't I know. know that we had a, a news item a few days ago, where um, influencers explained how our national organization, the KNVB, um, they paid them to go to Qatar, and then some of them said, "Well, we were going anyway, so going for free, why not?" But, you know, our country is very skeptical for some reason about this World Cup. We don't even have the decorations out. Yeah. Um, so I, well, I know that I, not many Dutch uh, viewers are going. Yeah, I quite understand why your country in particular is skeptical. Because in my opinion, it's one of the most liberal countries yeah. in Europe. And I subscribe to these values. So I am happy you are like that. But that also means that there's going to be a clash of cultures. Yeah, because in Qatar it's it's like traditional a traditional Muslim country, right? So uh, it's it's a big clash of cultures, in my opinion. Yeah. And let's talk about yeah. the Dutch then, because you are Dutch after yeah. all. So can the Netherlands get to the final? Um, I th I think you know I think we have we have a good shot. Um, we're definitely going to win the group stages, that's for sure, because we have one of the easiest ones. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be easy. Um, I think we can get how how did oh Louis Vergaal gave one of these classics? He said we can come and end, <laughs> which is which is in Dutch we have this saying we kunnen een eind komen, and that means that you can you know you, if you try and you do your best you can come kind of 
go a long way. You can go a yeah. long way. That's kind of what he wanted to say. But then he yeah. turned it into we can come and end. And I, I agree with him. I think we can come and end. We can go a long way in this World Cup. We can definitely reach the finals. We have very yep. good players, right? We have um, uh, Van Dijk, who is in the defense. Um, we have Malasia in our defense. We have Blind, um, Ake. So we have mm. lots of good players. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that was my next question. How good is this Dutch team? So you've mentioned a lot of defensive players, but yeah. what would be your let's say what would be your biggest stars in the offense then? Um well we have Depay, Memphis, FC Barcelona, so that's good. We have Bergwijn, who's who played excellently at Ajax. Yeah. Um Luc de Jong. Hang on, hang on. Wasn't wasn't he at Tottenham, or is there someone else? Yeah, he was. He was at Tottenham, yeah. but then he went back to Ajax. Okay. Um. So that's that's a good player as well. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, Frank Frankie De Jong, Barcelona. So he's also, uh, you know, a good player. I think he's he's going to be the central key player in Van Gaal's team. Yeah. So yeah, I think I think we're going to do quite well actually. Because of the quality of these particular players. Now, I hope Depay, for example, loses his ego a bit and he plays with the team instead of playing against, uh, playing for himself. Yeah. Um, so I wonder what will happen. But traditionally, the Dutch have always been good. Maybe, yeah. maybe you're not talked about as much as in the past when you used to have players like Frank de Boer, Ronald de Boer, and Ruud Kulit and. Uh, yep. All these excellent players. I think maybe at the, those times, that's when you had a stronger team. Even later, um, what's his name? The one that, uh, Ru okay, Ruth Finisteroy. Yeah. Um, Robin van Sar, as well. Robin van Persie, that's the one I wanted to yeah. name. And uh, Robin, oh, Robin. Robin. So I'm not sure. Maybe these names now that you're mentioning, they don't sound as glamorous as the one. From the previous uh, from the previous years, but that could yeah. be an advantage because there might be less pressure on you, and yeah. uh, you know I'm sure you can play football. But th at the same time, we are we are in in time of uh, this Belgium team. Like for the last decade, they have been better than you actually, yeah. right? So yeah, yeah, it's time to turn it around, Leontes. Yeah, I hope so. And I think Louis van Gaal is still an excellent coach, right? He's one of the best. So. I think I think he's able to manage these these young players, and using his tactics, using his skills, I think he can he can help them. Uh, I wonder what will happen. Um, so yeah, I think we can we can we can reach the world, the the finals. Yeah. Okay. Who knows? Oh, good luck with that. Thank you. And that wasn't that wasn't sarcastic, by the way. <laughs> no. I wish you good luck. And uh, a bonus question: You are a Manchester United fan. So how do you think the Manchester United players will do in this World Cup? So who do we have? We have got, so you mentioned... Um, Malasia. Uh, yeah, so that's a United player. Okay. Yeah. Now Martinez. We've got some, okay, Martinez is playing for Argentina. And then we've got a lot of Brazilian players in your team. Ant Casimiro. Ant Casimiro, Anthony. Is there anyone else? No, I don't Okay, maybe, so. maybe just two. And then... Obviously, uh, Maguire, Maguire, for England, yeah. Rashford, uh, Rashford. So, how do you think these players will do then? Who will who will be the biggest star of the, of all of them? Well, I think um, you know to to burge in with the most obvious one. Uh, I think Ronaldo is not going to oh. do as well as he wants to. Is he still a Manchester United player though? Oh, um, I don't know actually. <laughs> <laughs> Officially, he is. Officially, he is. Um, I think Fernandez is going to play well. I think Diego Dalo is going to play well as well because Den Haag, Den Haag gave him such opportunities to develop himself. So I think Dalo is going to be vital for Portugal. Casimiro is going to play well. Um, he's played well with United and he's going to play well with Brazil. Um, yep. Anthony is going to, to do excellent stuff. Um, so I think all of them, maybe except Ronaldo, they're going to play well. Maybe Ronaldo is even, maybe even Ronaldo might play well. But I think maybe, the, the United thing is going to haunt him a bit. Yeah, I think so too. I think, I think it might affect 
yeah. uh, the atmosphere in, in the in the dressing room, but yeah. maybe not. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? And then obviously special mention to Harry Maguire, who has been under a lot of criticism. So yeah. wouldn't that be a wonderful story if if England did really well in this tournament and Maguire was part of it? Wouldn't that be wonderful comeback for him? I would love yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. And I, I think I think he he you know Southgate really believes in Maguire for some reason. Yep. He's always even in his his darkest hours. Southgate supported Maguire. Um, same as Ten Hag and and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, of course. Yep. But for some reason, he really believes in him. And I think uh, I've got to mention Rashford. Rashford is also going to be um, great, I think. Mm-hmm. And I think if Rashford does well now with the World Cup, I think he's going to have an excellent second half of the season. Okay, fingers crossed. Thank yep. you very much, Leontes, for featuring uh, in today's show. And thanks uh, for having like me. To... Good luck to the Dutch team. Yeah, and I see you're also supporting us with your orange shirt. <laughs> well, it's actually red, but oh. it's the light. The light oh, makes yeah. it look orange. But yeah, <laughs> why not? Why not? I will be supporting uh, the Netherlands for you. Great. Same as how <laughs> I'm supporting Arsenal for you. Thank you very much. And uh, you viewers, stay tuned because I will be explaining some vocabulary right after this. All right, bye, Leontes. See ya. Good luck. Oranje boven. <laughs> All right, this is the part of the show where I go through some interesting vocabulary that, in this case, uh, was used in the interview with Leontes. So I've got four items of vocabulary for you today, two of them phrasal verbs. So I think it's going to be quite interesting so first of all we were talking about how england national team did in the previous world cup in russia and i said that either croatia or belgium knocked them out in the semi-final now i wasn't sure that's why i said either or and uh, i'm looking at the phrase of verb to knock someone out so this is used a lot in football so if you knock somebody out then it means that you eliminate them. So England were eliminated in the semifinals of the tournament. And it was actually Croatia. They lost 2-1. I've just checked it online. So to knock someone out means to eliminate someone. A lot of teams, everybody kind of gets knocked. Almost everybody except the two teams that get to the finals. All teams get knocked out along the way, right? This is what happens in the knockout stage. We call it the knockout stage or the the playoffs, right? We call it the playoffs. And uh, the idea is that a lot of teams have to get knocked out so that you have only one winner in the end. Okay, so that's that's to knock someone out. Um, Then uh, we were talking about France and I said they are the holders it's always difficult to win it twice in a row. Yeah, so I was pointing out to the fact that I think it was just Brazil who have managed to win uh, the World Cup twice in a row. And the current holders are France. So what does the word holders mean? Well, holders, they are the team or the country that is holding the trophy, the title right now, yeah? They are the last winners, which means they are the current holders, right? So after the finals, after the final, there will be a new new holder, right? There will be a new holder. We will talk about a new team. Let's say Brazil win it. There will be the new holders for another four years until we have another World Cup, which I believe will be in the USA and Canada, I think, as well. Right. I think it's Canada, USA, and Mexico as well. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Something like that. Okay. Now, here we were talking about the possibility of fake fans being deployed in Qatar. I don't know. This is just a gossip that Qatari are hiring fake fans. They are paying them to support some teams. Honestly, I don't know if this is true. Anyway, Leonta has said, Our country is quite skeptical for some reason about this country. So he is from the Netherlands. So he is talking about 
Holland, the Netherlands, right? He he says that his country is skeptical about Qatar, about the. Uh, I think it's just a clash of cultures because, honestly, the Netherlands is one of the most liberal countries in Europe, if not the most liberal country in Europe. Whereas in Qatar, it's very traditional, very orthodox, very, yeah, it's 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 a different kind of regime, isn't it? So. I'm looking at the word skeptical, which is quite a good word. And it's it's basically, it means not convinced. They're not convinced. They have doubts. They have reservations about this country. We have heard a lot of stories in the previous video. You heard me speak to Simon about this. So who knows? Are you skeptical about this tournament? Maybe you are skeptical about FIFA. I'm definitely skeptical about FIFA. Maybe you're one of the people that come from outside Europe and you are skeptical about Europe and about our values. You know, maybe you're skeptical about my values. I mean, that's that's totally fine. And by the way, I just want to say at this point, if I have accidentally said that Iran is one of the Arabic countries, then I'm sorry because this is actually a big mistake. I didn't mean to say that. Obviously, I know Iranians are not... Arabs. I know they are Persians, and I, I know it's it can be quite insulting if you if you, if you make this mistake. So I apologize. And uh, speaking of Iran, um, I want to I want to uh, uh, express uh, a lot of respect for Iran for not singing the national anthem and pointing out to the injustice happening in their country and uh, disagreeing with the current regime there i think it's it's amazing and uh, i am with you guys and well done you are very brave by the way very brave and also i want to say uh, i want to say fantastic fantastic job um, to saudi arabia managing to beat argentina this is an amazing result and i think uh, saudi arabia deserved this win so well done okay so that's the word skeptical by the way it's quite it's quite similar to the word cynical so uh, if you're skeptical, once again, it means you have kind of doubts, reservations, you're not convinced about something, you don't know if it's going to work or not. Cynical, on the other hand, means you are that as well, but also you kind of don't believe in the, you don't believe in the, in the morality of it. Yeah, you are, you think it's, it's corrupt or unethical. If you're cynical, you don't believe that people have good intentions, right? So I'm very cynical about this World Cup and about FIFA in particular. Um, skeptical and cynical. <laughs> so those two words are similar, but they, there is a little difference in meaning as well. Okay, and then the last thing I want to talk about is uh, when I asked Leontes how well he thinks that Manchester United players will do, he responded by saying, I think to barge in with the most obvious one, I think Ronaldo is not going to do as well as he wants to. So I like the expression to barge in, to barge in, which is another way of saying to, to interrupt you or to, to sort of jump in a little bit rudely. I don't think it was rude. He just, he, I just asked the question. Uh, Leontes answered it. Perhaps uh, he thought it was a quick response from him. To barge in means to sort of uh, enter the conversation in a slightly rude way. It's a, it's an informal expression. It's a phrasal verb. Uh, I think a similar expression is to jump in. I'm sorry, to jump in, to barge in, and um, to butt in as well. Yeah, there are more phrases which are similar. And the one that Leontes used was to barge in. Yeah. So I hope you guys barge in with your questions. Leave them in the comment section. It does help this channel. The more comments we see here, the better for the channel. So if you want this channel to grow, if you want this channel to have more subscribers, just like I do, I don't know why you should care. Well, I know why you should care. Because if I'm happy, I will produce more videos in the future. I'm more likely to stick with this, right? Because I don't know what's going to happen in t uh, five years' time or 10 years' time. Will I still be doing this? It depends. It depends on how this channel is popular and if, if it grows and, and stuff like that. So uh, you can also obviously give, give it a like. And I hope uh, it, this 
vocabulary section where I teach you some, some interesting words, phrases, verbs, idioms, and so on. I hope you find it useful. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.